Greetings, friends, on behalf of the Electoral Nominating Committee. Our mandate is to prepare a list of qualified candidates for two Episcopal elections, including the coadjutor bishop at the 2021 Synod and the suffragan bishop at the 2022 Synod. Since our last communique, our committee has reached out to every parish in the diocese to explain and answer any questions they may have regarding the election and the process. We were glad to try to answer people's questions and to know that many churches are praying with us during this time of discernment. Because the canons require the names of five clergy and five voting lay members of synod to nominate an individual, we do understand that this takes a bit of time and effort to organize for this to happen. But do pray, press on, and pass on your nominations to our committee. At this time, our committee is in the process of putting together a set of questions for our nominees that we hope will cover a wide spectrum of topics. And at the appropriate time, we will post the answers to these questions on our website from our candidates. At our last meeting, the committee had a lengthy discussion about what if COVID-19 doesn't allow us to conduct Synod as we usually do in November. The committee agreed that the best case scenario, of course, would be to be together in person to, for Synod to pray and discern together but acknowledged that this may be impossible. So we do covet your prayers at this time. Now I can't stress enough our desire for you to join with us in prayer as we seek to discern the Lord's will in the choice of our next bishop. This is a really important time in the life of our diocese. So again, let me close by praying uh, Canon Garth Hunt's crafted prayer for Anik. Let's pray. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, you have richly blessed us with such godly leadership throughout the early history of the Anglican network in Canada. And for that, we are profoundly grateful to you. Now, Father, we pray for the newly formed Electoral Nominating Committee charged with the task of preparing a slate of nominations for the office of coadjutor bishop to be elected at our next diocesan synod in November. As Archdeacon Paul Charbonneau and his committee members seek your guidance, may they be filled with the knowledge of your will in all spiritual wisdom and understanding. Protect them, O Lord, from all assaults of the enemy, and may the Holy Spirit Bring them into the perfect unity that your Son, our Lord Jesus, prayed for on our behalf. These things we ask in his mighty name and to your honor and glory. Amen. Well, again, bless you and thank you for listening.